Hi, my name is Martin, and today I'm going to take you through how to add and use the Patient Care Manager. Firstly, we'll need to add the Care Manager to the toolbar. Right-click on the toolbar and click Customize. Highlight the Care Manager and then click on the right chevrons to move it over. As you can now see, it's at the bottom of the selected column, then click OK. To use the Care Manager, click on the Care Manager icon. On the left side of the screen, you'll see your patient names, then the provider's initials or names depending on how they were added, the payor of the course of treatment and the course of treatment number. The date column indicates the date of the patient's last appointment and this status would indicate that the course of treatment is open and not yet booked in. You then have the assigned column. This will show you whom this has been assigned to for them to action. You can assign this to specific users. This will be shown later in the video. You then have the value of the treatment or the UDA value if this is an NHS course of treatment. You then have some patient contact information here just for ease of booking. To view the patient's treatment, you can click on the course of treatment bar and this will load the chart screen. You also have access to all of the other tabs should you choose to view these. If you go back to the care manager, to book the patient in, Highlight the patient and click book. This will take you back to the appointment book with all their details for you to book in. If you go back to the care manager, you have all the filter options in the bottom right corner. Here you can see you have open, booked, contacted, rejected and snoozed. You also have options for the payors. If you only wanted to see Denplan or Deness or NHS, you can simply tick these boxes. This will then show you the relevant courses of treatment. You can also filter by providers and which users you have assigned this patient to. To reject a patient, highlight the course of treatment and then click reject. This will then remove the patient from the main care manager screen. To snooze a patient, highlight the patient and click snooze. Then choose a date to snooze into, and this will then show you an alert on that day. To check your snoozed and rejected patients, just click on the filter option, and this will give you the date that this was rejected or snoozed. To assign a patient to a user, highlight the patient and then click assign. You can then choose your user from the list. This concludes our video, thanks for watching. If you found this video tutorial useful, give us a like and a comment below on what you'd like to see next.